To celebrate our 30th wedding anniversary, we're heading to Europe. For 30-something days. Our plans are to explore France, Switzerland, and Belgium over 35 days. And we're capturing it all in this digital scrapbook. We hope you enjoy our retelling of these adventures. We spent nine nights in Zurich and had a lot of great adventures, a lot of great day trips, but it's time to leave and we're heading to the Swiss Alps for the next leg of our journey. This was a real planes, trains, and automobiles type of adventure. Actually, it was two trains and a bus uh, from Zurich to Spitz, and from Spitz we then took another train to Frutigen, and from Frutigen we took a bus to Adelboden, uh, and the bus was winding up and down the mountains uh, all the way there. So it was actually a very interesting drive. Coming into Frutigen on the train and definitely the bus ride to Adelboden really whetted our appetite for the amazing views ahead of us on this part of our journey. The bus station dropped us off just across the street from our hotel. We were staying at the Cambrian, which we found through the Marriott program Bon Vie. It was a fantastic place and the views were stunning. of our hotel room at the Cambrian. We got upgraded to a junior suite. Lovely bed. Closet. Got this kind of swoopy alpine thing going on. Stuff to make coffee and tea, which is complimentary. TV, which I haven't watched any TV yet. Our little seating area. It's kind of dark, but nice bathroom. Commode. Nice big sink with two faucets. Lovely shower. The best part of the whole thing Amazing view. The resort was spectacular. Uh, we spent a lot of time here, which is uh, their winter garden room um, and the outside deck, uh, which gave us spectacular views. Uh, we also spent quite a bit of time in the pool. We grabbed dinner at the formal restaurant uh, for the resort one night, and it was very good. Yeah, we also had breakfast there. Almost every morning we had breakfast there, and then we also had meals uh, through the bar uh, in the areas that, that we just kind of highlighted, uh, they would serve you uh, a light dinner in any of those areas. Yeah, and uh, it was all delicious. Yeah, it was all very, very good. The service was excellent. Adelpoden is a small um, skiing town. Uh, of course, they do have summer activities. We kind of caught it on the, on the shoulder season, um, but there was still a lot to do, a lot of places to go to eat, and um, not as many activities as if you're in the summer season, but we were able to keep ourselves quite busy.
We were lucky enough, though, to encounter a little festival. Uh, they told us that this festival is to honor the animals that help, you know, provide food, uh, especially the cows. Well, that's a cowbell. We've had fantastic weather this whole trip, but it did rain on us. Adelboden is situated near the Swiss Alps, and we planned a number of interesting activities in order to get us out there to experience it more directly. Our first outing was taking the gondola ride up to the top of Tension Alp and hiking back down. Scan the barcode, huh? Beautiful. Yellow is the prettiest. Paragliding. <laughs> oh. It's the perspective that makes it scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, John. Feels like you're way off the ground, but you're barely off the ground. <laughs> After about an hour of hanging out on the ridge and uh, enjoying the beautiful views and the giant swing, uh, we decided to find a way back down to Adelboden. You can take the roadway down and a couple of other paths, but there's a really nice hiking path that was highlighted in some of the maps, so we decided to go that route. From our hotel window, we could see these amazing waterfalls, and for our second outing, we decided to go and see them up close. The same bus system that got us here from Frutigen also takes you around the area of Avalboden, including to Engstiglin Falls, which is where we went. The falls are about a mile and a half from the bus stop, so the bus doesn't take you directly there, but it's a really easy hike to go and actually see the, see the falls, and there's a lot of uh, pretty things to see along the way.
As you can see, the falls were impressive, but we found out that we could get an even closer look. So there's a little bit of a hike that goes up to a platform where you can uh, view the falls even closer. So we decided to go ahead and give that a try. What's that? Okay. So I should put it away. Just want to get the little Swiss flag. That's all I care about. When Mishka says we're going to get a closer look, I don't think we understood how close. We were standing literally right next to the falls and we were getting soaked with the spray. Happy and perhaps a little bit more wet than we wanted to be, uh, we decided to hike to a different bus station that would end up taking us back into town. Yeah, the hiking trail starts where they dropped us off, but actually goes a total of about three miles from uh, that point to the falls and then back to the second uh, bus station. Each of our adventures involved long hikes. We hiked to Klorenschlucht next, which wasn't 100% sure what that was. It's a gulch. A gulch. We were excited to figure out what that was and had a nice hike to Klorenschlucht. Yeah, along the way we saw these cute little self-serve little stores that people set up and you just, it's an honor system, you just go in and decide what you want and uh, there's usually a money box and you write down what you took. Uh, it's really cute. So typically Swiss, very trusting and everybody honors it. You might say this is gorgeous. Danke. Thank you. Thanks, so. Okay. We decided to do the hiking path through the gorge which included some suspension bridges uh, and quite a few hairy looking steps.
Glaren Schlucht was quite the adventure. Uh, we had uh, amazing views, and we didn't know what to expect, and it was, it was a great time. Uh, the hike back was also beautiful, another great day, and lots of great views. Our next outing was another long hike out to Alpen Garden, uh, very much along a similar path, uh, but we did get to veer off into some different areas. <laughs> early June, so we knew that the Alpine Garden wouldn't be in full bloom, but what we did see was beautiful. fascinating that almost all these hiking trails that we were on throughout all of our days at Adelboden, yeah. we would go through other people's properties and we would have to open and close the gates so that the cattle would not escape. Uh, and that was the responsibility of the hiker to, to do that. And uh, I just found that whole thing fascinating. Good day to all of you. Our outing and excursions would usually happen in the morning. And in the afternoon, well, that was time to relax by the pool. We loved Adelboden. It may have been our favorite stop to this point on the trip. It was absolutely stunning and can't wait to go back. This is a definite must return. Our Swiss Alps adventures continue in the next episode, where we go to Zermatt and visit the Matterhorn.